Okay, good evening, everybody. So let us start our class uh, tonight by reviewing our uh, schedule. As you know that you have your upcoming test, right? Your test three. Your test three will be uh, in, in two weeks, maybe, right? When is the test? Michael, you remember when is the test uh, three? You remember when is the test three? Let us see the schedule first. Your test three will be uh, the mid. Okay, this one, right? Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, test three will be uh, on Tuesday, March 19. Okay. So for your test, tonight's class is very important. Okay, in this class alone we will cover at least 20% of point for your test 3. Tonight's class will cover at least 20% point of your uh, test 3 and your final as well as. So your grades are already uh, published on uh, grade score. So if you have any regret request, please. <coughs> okay. So, anybody remember what we were discussing? Linked list, right? We are discuss discussing actually singly linked list. Singly linked list. There is another kind of linked list that is called doubly linked list, but we are discussing single linked list. That means a node only knows who is next to it, one side. Okay. <coughs> so let me recap it again. So the for the linked list, okay, linked list is a dynamic data structure. Okay, is the linear data structure. Okay, and the link node, a node is the foundation or basis of a linked list, right? Okay, but then we discuss what does a node contain. A node contains two things. One is data and another is the address to the next node. Okay, so data can be any type, integer type or string type or object type okay so uh, for demo purpose we added two types both integer and string so i believe if you understand with these two types you will be able to add any other type okay so that this node class it contains id integer type and then string no uh, type no name and it most importantly all linked list contains uh, you see the next you can tell it another object another name but I'm telling is next this is node type so here is a recursive call and this node is not a an object it is a reference right you know that when you do not use when you do not use mm, do not use new keyword then it, it becomes reference and when you use new keyword then it becomes object right okay so this link is a reference to the next uh, link next node okay and we use this constructor we, we use this constructor in order to create a node with its data so i said node it will take two arguments id and string then i said this dot id equal to id and this dot name equal to name and i use this method display a node that means it will be displaying this nodes id equal to whatever id i provide and name whatever name i provide and then we use this override this two string method right in order to convert an object to string so so far we, we understand this right 
so far this is our foundation of a node class we discussed in our last class you already understand this so so the, we are okay so we are doing we will not we don't need to do anything for this node class. our node is complete unless we needed new type data new data element okay this node is fine okay node class is fine so let us uh, wrap our node class with i don't need this node class so maybe what i can do is there any way that i can okay then we are discussing with the links list class that we we last time we mentioned that the purpose of link list class is to put the methods all of the like insertion method deletion method but all of the methods that we want to do on the link list link list operation we want to put over here right okay so a link list is by default it contains a node okay by default people say that it is head okay you can say it anything you can say node n1 n2 anything so this is a reference right you can give it any name so but let us stay with hate okay so then okay so when you create a link list initially it it just create a link list with no node for instance if you have a list without any entry any data for instance let us remember the situation for a an array you know that how to declare an array right when you declare an array what you have what did we do we create an empty array like this without any data right but with fixed size size is hundred or thousand with fixed size right okay but link list when you are creating link list we don't need to assign a specific size length we mentioned that that is the link, uh, advantage of link list right so but what we are creating we are creating a when you're creating a link list imagine that we are creating a list uh, like for instance um, like this okay. uh, with head null that means nothing in it okay we are creating a list instead of uh, the difference between a uh, an array or list is that array has a fixed size you have to declare the size when you declare an array right for link list you do not need that but for instance you are creating a, a mm -hmm, link list with nothing in it okay so this is, is called head is null. Okay, do you understand? So, so this constructor that means when return when we will create and this means that when we will create when you will use like link list for instance ln equal to new link list then it will create a link ln with null head with no node. Okay with a node or with no value so this is this is the purpose of this okay okay so then how do i know that a node a link list is empty how do i know that my link list is empty there are two ways that i can i can uh, define okay so if a link list is empty I can say if a link list is if it is size is number of nodes is zero right then it is empty if there is no node in it that is empty since there is node is a string type there is since node is a class type object so it is not an integer so you cannot say if node equal to so you cannot say if node uh, for instance uh, equal to 1 or 0 you cannot say that 
because this is a, 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 a you, you can understand this say you understand why you can understand this because this is not an integer type this node is not an integer type right it is a, a an object with mixed type because remember that what a node contains a node contains an id and a name with an id and name and it also contains another link to the next node okay <coughs> so you cannot say node equal to one two or three so this line is invalidated actually but we can say that if node equal to null you can say this a node or we are defining a node here now head if head equal to null okay that size of head equal to null then it 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 will say that is link is empty you remember that this line actually uh, this line actually this uh, so this is a actually a, a complex complex statement this statement is also one single line it is a complex statement everyone you understand this is head equal equal to null that means this statement will say if if I'm sorry if head equal to null return uh, true else return false uh, oh, oh sorry there's mistake spelling type okay sure so you understand right if head equal to null then it will uh, return true that is empty method is it, it is if it is an a and something is empty so we are saying that is head equal to null then it's returning true and you can combine these two statement by this one single statement it says return head equal equal to null that means if head equal to null then it will return true right otherwise it will return false same thing over here i'm doing that okay so instead of writing these two statements together uh, two statements together I can write only one statement here then it works so everybody understand this method so it this method if this is if this is empty method returns a true value that means we will know that this link list will is empty right otherwise it is it has some value okay now so far I have this so uh, let me uh, let me Okay, it is one on error, so but I will fix that soon. I will fix that soon. Okay, so it is uh, giving me some error. Okay, you see that? Let us remember our code from our last type. Last recall, last call. What do we did? Have commented out all of this course. Now, if I run this, <coughs> that you see that what I have first initially done last time, I created a node class and I created some node n1, n2, n3 with some ID and with an ID and some data, right? With an ID and some name data. 
okay then i displayed the node and when i displayed the node i saw i displayed that name on node one like this one uh, when i display those i got this id equal to one this these are the output these are the output for these few lines display node display node you know display node and then when i was doing trying to uh, say because i i discussed the last time this node are distinct okay this node uh, are not linked okay okay so then we, we we validated that using this command this print if we said n1.next then we said uh, printed we say we got null everything is null that means this link or these nodes are not linked then later what we did later we linked n1.next equal to say n1.next equal to n2 n2.next equal to n3 n3.next equal to for after that when i executed the same command we got n1.next equal to n2 right okay i got this this is the output you see that after that in on dot next equal this is the output from here the output from here and after this this lines this plus sign is here okay so if I, you don't understand so far this right okay so here what i'm doing i'm displaying all of the nodes individually each of these nodes individually i'm displaying right so that instead of displaying all of the nodes individually what i can do i can uh, okay i can create a method like display wall nodes let me see what is this method Okay. Instead of displaying the nodes, each of the nodes individually, I just created a another method. It's called display all nodes, and that that display all nodes will call display node method. What is the display node method I do have? My display node method is this one this method is this one okay so that in order to instead of calling instead of displaying all of the nodes one by one and I, I just added another method here it's called display all nodes so this method while it will do this method will will contain a local reference so node the node equal to head okay and say whatever what how we are doing well the node not equal to null so what do we know about this when a node is not equal to null that means when my link list is not empty right a minute ago i saw that if a link list is empty that means this node will be null if head is a node actually here head is a node here head is a node and here also also head is a node so if we say if the node is null that means it is empty and if it is not null then may that means it is not empty then if it is not empty then it can call is is a displayed node method okay displayed node method that is that okay, okay and in addition to to this if we are using one extra line over here okay so i will explain that later what is the purpose of this line okay actually the this line is very important because <coughs> let me we explain that for instance we have six nodes n1 n2 n3 uh, dot dot n for instance n6 n1 is connected with n2 n2 is connect n2 knows who is n3 n3 knows for instance this okay if we say n1 dot next then what is 
what does it mean refer so if i say n1 dot next n1 dot next equal to what n2 right n1 dot next equal to n2 then if i say can anyone help me please n1 dot next dot next equal to anyone has idea n1 dot next dot next equal to n3 equal to n3 yes okay i'll tell you no okay so I'm, I'm coming in a minute i'm going there okay so you understand or if you don't understand for now remember so if i say n1 dot next then n2 Okay, n2 dot next equal to n3. Okay, that means n1 dot next dot next equal to n3. If I say n1 dot next dot next dot next, then it will be n6. This way, okay. That means I am saying who is next to you. And then if I say who is next to next to next to you, that will be the third person. I will indicate the third person next to you, right? Similar way. Here actually, remember that where we define uh, next. Next is the node, next node. I could give this in another node, okay? So next is the node. Now you remember that if I say n1, if I say n1, n2, and n3, okay? So if I say n1 dot next, then it will be n2. And n2 dot next, then we n3. If I say n1 dot next dot next, then it will go n3. You understand? Okay. So you got answer of your question? Yes. Oh, thank you. <coughs> so this is why e2 will traverse. That while in the while loop, for instance, if you want to traverse the loop, you increment the index value, right? In a, in a general loop, for in a for loop, you increment i, right? Or while loop, you say that, so this is the increment, or it is traversing to the next. This is why this line is important. Okay? <coughs> so that whenever it has, a, it gets its first node, then it, after displaying the first node, it will go to the next node. Okay, so that we can use display all nodes we can this method in order to display all of the nodes. Instead of writing all of the nodes individually, we can call the display display all nodes method. Okay, but display all node method is defined within the linked list class, right? So in order to access this display all nodes, I need to create an object of this of this uh, hmm, link list class right so this is the purpose of link of this link class so then if i say the i can give any name the link list dot <coughs> display all nodes You say I have display all nodes. Then it will be displaying all of the nodes. Okay, this is the purpose of display all nodes. Okay, since I did not put display all nodes within my node class, so then I cannot call the display all display all nodes this method display all nodes, display all not nodes by here at this point here. I cannot say n6 dot display all nodes. I cannot say that. Because the reason is that display all nodes is not a member of the node class. Okay? So I cannot call here. Remember that. Okay?
actually so this is the purpose that we use display all nodes okay but it is not time yet to call this method for now let us avoid it <coughs> so let us recap again let us review again okay so everybody please are you in this class huh? give attention please yes okay let me recap and then give attention everybody please for the next 20, 30 minutes it will be very important thing okay so far i just reviewed your last class okay so the linked list class we are defining the linked list class in order to define our linked list operation okay that what kind of linked list operation we may see how many elements in my linked list how many nodes in my linked list has whether the linked list is empty or not okay and if it is not empty then we can display all of the elements or all of the nodes of this linked list okay so this display method is we will do that okay now remember that when we create now we need to do main operation first of it first of the thing that we need to do add operation we need to insert some node in my linked list right we have a linked list now we need to insert element then when we can insert when we insert then after that we can search or we can delete so that our first goal will be to understand the insert method add method okay so insert okay so insertion in a linked list it can be two ways okay for instance that link okay let us consider that that for now we have an empty link list so that if it is an empty link list then whatever you will insert in the link list that element will be that node will be the first node of the link list right okay so the when it is empty then if you uh, insert one then that will be the first one but when there is at least one existing node then when you want to insert another one in the list then there will be question arising that when the next person will go to the next side or front or, or, or back so if i want to make a line so if i make a line with some of your students right so if i call can you please help me can you do a volunteer okay i want to make a line okay yeah. I, so you stay here okay okay so then i am i need one more person okay you need to make a line but you don't know yet that we will go in front of him or next to him if you do not know yet right so you, you your position is in front of him or next to him then you will you are still uncertain right where you have to where you be your position right so definitely you need to know whether you have to sit or stay in front of him the existing node or behind the existing node okay so if you want to stay if you want to take place in front of him that we call prepend that that insertion is called prepend and if we want to stay next to him okay that is called append so insertion is two types okay one is called append that means it will sit next to it for instance i if i already have so this is the situation if i already have a node one then if i want to create another node so then the question will arise when the, the node two will give say let me say this side is front and this side is back the next node will go in the back or in the front if it is goes in the back then it will be linked like this way then it is called append append okay and, and if it goes in the front okay for instance let node 3 will go here so this is called prepend both append and prepend are insertion adding right 
but you understand the difference between append and prepend append will go next okay but prepend will go in the front okay but if it is node is empty for the first node if its link list is empty if the link list is empty for the first node there is no such question whether it will be append or prepend right it will take its place right you understand everything okay thank you so much sorry okay. so we need to understand two things append and prepend in order to do insertion okay <coughs> So let me get my code for first year for append. Okay. So the my append method, for instance, is there void public public void append. So it is appending or oh, it is taking two arguments again. These arguments are my data argument, right? Okay. So for append method, it is checking whether if it is an an First, it is checking if the link list is empty. Okay, that means if the node is empty, if there is no node. Okay, for instance, if it is node, then then it will create a new node. For instance, when I want to, I want I call the first person to to make a line, and he saw that it is empty. Line is empty, right? So he just took a position anywhere. So this is the position. It says the head equal to new node with my ID and it is okay. Another thing is that for a void method, if you have a return type void, then you can just return without any value. So this this statement is fine, or this statement is also optional. This is uh, a pro an important property of a uh, uh, method. Sometimes it is a good interview question. Sometimes interviewer asks, can a void method contain a return statement? Remember that when I discussed the method, I told that a void method cannot return a value. Okay, but can have a return statement. Here you see that I have written statement here. Okay. It cannot return help for instance it cannot return one or return head or something it cannot return any value but it can have return statement it cannot have this but it can have <coughs> okay so this is the important line okay so if the append method will check first whether this link is empty it uh, <coughs> head so let us again recap what is my head here my head is the the, the node what is my the node the node if the node is null okay then then what you will do it will it will put data over here actually it will put data over here for instance Remember that this is a constructor, right? This is a constructor of linked list. Okay, so when I am creating an object of this linked list, okay, so so then it is creating an empty linked list with a head. What is my head? Head is node with a node with null value. So that in this statement here anywhere for instance when i am using this one link list ln equal to new link link list whatever i am statement i am using then what it will do it will create a link list it will create a list empty link list with null here with value null null means its data is null it has no data and it does not know who is next to it okay everything is null okay so this is why if here is equal to null, this statement is here. So the append method will first check if head equal to null. 
okay then it will create a head and it will put the data whatever data you will insert for the node i will soon i will show how to use this one okay and then okay otherwise if node is not equal to null that means it has some existing nodes then what it will do it will create a new node because so it will say it will set the node current node equal to head and say it's a while current node dot next not equal to null okay then current node equal to current node dot next and then actually this is the statement what it will do <coughs> okay remember the line between uh, line 82 and 90 okay so these two lines in it is these are very important you need to understand these two lines <coughs> line number 82 this one and this one okay so give close attention to understand this what this line number 82 to say if head head equal to null that means if there is a node with no value okay for instance this is my head this is my node with null value then it will put whatever id you want to put over here for instance id will put one okay and name equal to you want to put a a in double quote we will put a over here okay <coughs> and then the return means it, this it will return from it will not go to the next part of this program okay but if it is not but if it finds that there are already some some elements some nodes in this list so then for instance there is a node this is my okay this if there is something for instance this is my node one and then it has value a okay it's my node one and if I say that it has another node, node 2, it has value ID 2 and value is for instance B, name is B. And it has another node, node number 3 and ID is 3 and value is C, name is C. So if my linked list, if, if the append method finds that there are some existing elements existing nodes here that this these are the checking here on line number uh, on line number 87 87 on line number 87 these are the important checking here are the checkpoint it is saying that while current node dot next not equal to null that means in instant initially this is my current node Okay, this is my current node. Dot next equal to this, right? The all the way last element it has null. Link equal to null. Mm -hmm. Null. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. It's fun. <laughs> okay. So it says while next node not equal to null it will be traversing this number line number 8088 it will going next current node equal to current node node dot next that means what is it doing here if you say the node 1 and node 2 and node 3 let me do again and node 1 has next equal to node 2 and node 2 has next equal, equal to n3 node 3 and node 3 dot next equal to null this is the thing i wanted to draw okay so the line number 18 what it does it says current node equal to current node dot next that means this one is you are moving you are going to from here to there from there to there you are you are moving forward until you go to the next node last node so how do we know that the last node it is the last node if you see that that is a node dot next equal to null right the last node will have link null it is not linked with any other node but all other nodes this first node is linked with second node first node knows who is the next to it 
and the second node knows who is the next to it okay and there is no node if it the, the last node the last node knows that there is nothing next to it so the last node the how do i know that this is the last node if the node dot next equal to null okay because every node contains two things right every node contains data for instance this node contains data 1 and it has value a and this node contains uh, id 2 and it contains value b and in addition to this data it also contains this link every node contains two things right for link list one is data and another is link to the next node so so far okay we are giving emphasize both on data and also the list link also the next address remember that so how do i know that a, this this is my last node to the linked list if i find that node dot next equal to null there is no 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 data or no id after that <coughs> have you understand okay this is the thing it says on line number so here on line number so line number 82 okay actually line this is, this is the this are the check actually this is the check while current dot next not equal to null that means it has next node then it is moving oh, sorry then it is moving to current dot node equal to current node dot next okay that means this way it is going all the way to the end and then when it goes all the way in, then it says current node dot next equal to new data. So you see that this part, this thing is exactly same as this part is exactly same as the line number 82. On line number 82, we say head equal to new dot, okay, head equal to new node. And here on line number 90, I said current node dot next equal to new node. You understand the difference between this? So this will be applicable, this line will be applicable if the link list is empty. Okay? And the, the element, the node who is coming here is the first node in the link list. Okay? But if it is not the first node, that means if there are some existing nodes in the list, then it, in order to do the append operation, right, you need to traverse all the way in, right. So this is happening here. This condition is checking here. This is the current node docs. First one here, this looping is going to all the way end. Okay. But it cannot jump two steps. Like this. think of that this is a stairway. Okay. The stairs are too far that you cannot jump from one step to third, one step to third step. You have to must go to, uh, in order to go to the fifth step, you should go to first step, then second step, third step, fourth step, fifth step, right, okay? This is a stairway, like here, here, like this way. A link list, traversing a link list like this way. For instance, you have here, uh, how do we uh, uh, draw it? Like this way, right? For instance, this way. So you have, in order to jump here, you have to come here, you need to go from here to here, then here to here, and then here to here, and then here to here. So, <clears throat> do you understand here at this point? Okay, this is the append, append mode, okay? Append operation. Okay. So, once I have append method, once I have my append method, then this append is insertion. Okay. Then I can do, you see that my link list, the link list equal to link, link list. Then I can say this upper, this statement. Link list dot, okay. I can say, the link list <coughs> the link list dot append append with id for instance 101 and let us give some name 
What is your name? Michael? Okay, so then I want to make who, what is your name? I want to make him the next one. What is your name? Hmm? Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I want to say the link list. I want to add another list, okay? Dot append. Say 102. And then, what is your name? Yes? S A, for instance, S A, S A H. Never mind, okay, if I misspell. Okay, so if I want to say, uh, for instance, the next one. Okay, what is your name, please? Uh, Braxton. Three. B. R A X. A X T O N. You don't have uh, any problem if I write your name, right? This, okay, this is recording, okay? Okay, so what is your name? Yeah. What is your name? Okay, that's good. Okay. So for instance, for I want to put Lee here. So this is the way to append, right? So in that case, Michael is going to, the, going to be the first element. Okay. Okay, Michael is going to uh, the first element first node in the linked list, then Michael knows who is next to him. Michael knows that Sasa is the next to him, okay? And Sasa knows who is next to him. Sasa knows that Braxton is next to Sasa, okay? But Michael does not know who is next to Sasa. Michael does not know what is the position of Braxton or what is the position of Lee. Okay, if Michael no want to know, so okay, for instance, if if Michael somewhere there is a way to find how many nodes are there in this. For instance, let us think that we, we live in a community, okay, and each of this person is a household, uh, what is that called, uh, house, main household member, okay, for instance, that we live, all of you li live in a community that Michael knows who is the next adjacent neighbor on the right side to him, okay, and then Brack, okay, Sasa knows who is the next right, right side neighbor to him, okay, and, and then, uh, then Braxton knows who is the next to Lee, okay. If there is a new member, new uh, community member comes in this uh, community, for instance me. Okay, if I come in, go in their community as a, okay, if I rent an apartment over there or a house or person's house over there, okay. So then they, if they know that, okay, that there is a new member in their community, but if Michael wants to know, okay, who is the newcomer in this community, okay, then what will happen? Michael needs to ask Sasa, hey. Who is the next person in this community is coming up? Okay, Sasa says, okay, Sasa will say, okay, let me ask my neighbor. So Sasa will ask Braxton, who is the next? Who is the newcomer? Then Braxton says, oh, I don't know, let me ask my neighbor. So then Lee will say, okay, so Asa, Braxton will ask Lee, and then Lee will say, oh, Mokhtar is the newcomer. Okay, so then, okay, then the Lee will pass this information to Braxton. Baxton will pass this information to Sasa and then Sasa will pass this information to Michael. This is how Michael will know who is the newcomer. Okay, so link list work in this way. Okay, because there is one step. Remember that? I, I give you an example, one step. So Michael cannot jump from his position to the last position. He doesn't have access. Because Michael knows who is next to it, right? We have a next. On step, right? Okay. So now, if I display like this, the link is dot display all nodes. What do we expect that it will, will display? Because you know that we discussed that these are the method. Initially, we discussed this link list, this node, blah blah, this stuff. Actually, these are useless. 
Actually, this is not a, an ideal way to declare a linked list. So let me disable this all of this course and let me start. Although we created node over here, but because this node we are creating manually and we are linking, we are linking this manually. But this way we are creating a node and we are also linking automatically. So now if you say that here, if we run this code, <coughs> you see that? <coughs> that the my ID equal to first one is Michael, right? You see that? Do you see the expected code? ID 0101 is Michael, okay? Who is next to Michael? It's Sasa, right? And Sasa's ID is 102. And who is next to Sasa? It's Braxton. Okay? And Braxton uh, next is Lee. And Lee's next is Mokhtar. And who is there next to Mokhtar? Now, that means Mokhtar is the last person, right? in this community, okay? And then if you add another one, someone else, then the Mokhtar will not be the last one. The last one will be here. So in that fashion, we are adding where? We are adding, we are adding in appending mode, right? We are adding all of the nodes at the end of this list, right? Okay, there is another way that I discussed that there is another way. So this is append is an insertion, okay? There is another way to Instead of append, there is another way to prepend. To add, if you want to add an element that if, for instance, if already Mokhtar is, Michael is there, okay? So instead of making Sasa next to here, I can say prepend. I can say prepend. Prepend means I will add Sasa in front of Michael. Okay, then I need to create another method prepend. Okay, I already have that code over here, so let me uh, get that code. This prepend code is almost same, but there is a little bit difference. This is my prepend code. <coughs> Let me make it one closer so that you can compare append and prepend together. Sorry. Okay. So append is here and prepend is here. Okay. So look at that, that similarity. So this segment is same for the append and prepend. This segment is same, right? Exactly same for append and prepend. That means first of all it is checking whether this list is empty or not. Okay. Because when it is it's exactly the same, right? There is a difference here. There is a difference here. You see that I will go through this here. Okay, that means you can you can add Michael instead of append you can add easily Michael as prepend okay so the first element and then uh, if I say this way if I run this it should work So for the first element, if you say is append or prepend, there is no problem, okay? Because he is the first one. The initial line was empty, right? There is no way that he will be the where he will be the either. The second and it will uh, the question will arise for the second node if there is an existing node, right? So so this is why for the append and prepend, this segment of code is. Same. But what what is this checking? Again, let us do. If head is null, that means there is no this node is empty. Node is null. That means no node actually. Node is null means that's nothing. Okay. 
you know, did I sometime explain you for like a string, the difference between an empty string and a, and a null string? Null means no existence. Empty means you have something but with no value. Something zero, like for integer, okay? If you have, a, if you have help, zero. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, am I getting internet trouble? Okay, so that these line, okay, so give attention here, these lines. So after that, you see that this line, if you say, after that, if for prepend, that means if we find that there is an existing empty, that means here, that, that means it will take, it will say that if it comes this line, that it will think that there is already an existing node. Then what it will do, node, you say new node equal to new ID and put name, and then it will do so new node dot next equal to head, and head equal to new node. So this is the very, these three lines is the very crucial lines. Okay, try to understand this and try to compare between this and, and this. Okay, maybe I could make it, um, instead of I said current node over here, right? You see that I can say whatever node, current node or new node, whatever I can say. Say node new node equal to new node, okay, and then new node dot next equal to head, okay. So what it will doing? It will be doing. Let me ex try to explain this one. So on line number 32 will arise. It will be executed if there is an existing element in the link list, that is called node, right? For instance, this is the Michael's node. Okay, this is one, okay, one, zero, one, and it is Michael. Okay. And if the next node, next person, okay, wants to come here, then if he, if, if he wants to sit in front of him, Michael. That what you'll do, it will create a node, this one, one zero two, okay, with the hello name, for instance, what is his name? I said Braxton, or whatever, never said B, okay, and then after putting this, it it needs to link this with this, right? It needs to be, initially Michael was the top, first one. But when Braxton comes here and he takes first position, he, he, he stands place on the, in front of Michael, so then Braxton will be the top element, right? So then the Braxton will, will be linking, will know that, So this is my one zero one. This is Michael, and one zero two. This is maybe Braxton, and then it needs to be linked like this way. And Michael's already his uh, initially Michael's. This is null. Next is null. <coughs> Did I pass my attendance sheet? So this is what it is doing, okay? So you see that new node equal to this new node and that new node dot next equal to head. What is head? Head is the what is existing node. If said if head not equal to null, right? That means head is existing, right? So head is the Michael, original existing node. So then it will say new node dot next equal to head. That means this is K establishing this. Yes, but this is the line that establishes this link and you still the head will be new node and this node making this I mean after this after this linking 
initially michael this was the top head but when he prepens here then this he will be the top right so then he will be the he will be the head this is making this is making the head so because in the linked list it will start from the head your linked list knows only the head okay because for the linked list it has the initial so every node knows who is the head you see that every linked list it has a node called head okay so that this linked list object it will know ultimately all instance of this linked list will know who is the head so this every any element is this 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 linked list will know is is know already that who is the head and if, and if someone prepends then head will be changed right the new head head will needs to be assigned okay so now you understand the the prepend and append method okay for your test either you will be asked to do prepend or append okay do some practice i have already put my code in in that in that in github account okay and do some practice without practicing you will not understand this if i spend whole night you will not understand if you are this is not a thing that you will memorize okay you need to draw some figure on a piece of paper and run some codes write some codes then execute and and try to understand with your figure okay so then we understand the append method or insertion method right when you understand the insertion method other methods are are pretty easier other methods are pretty easier like for instance so then okay so we have when we have our append and prepend method you see that we can sum the so first one we can even append or prepend and then last one if we say this one is uh, prepend okay so if i run this okay so who will be who will be the uh, head of this linked list can anyone please tell me me sir yes why uh, because prepend michael okay initially michael as uh, the head no matter he is the beginning top he is uh, taking so for the top one no there is no difference between append and prepend but when sasa becomes the uh, prepend then he will be the head right and then append brexton will go next to michael and then lee will go next to uh, okay brexton and then mokhtar will go yes. is prepend right it is going all the way top if i run it you see that if i run it who is the top mokhtar no, because is the reason is that for append okay so you need to you need to do this you need to uh, uh do right you first of all understand append and prepend method then execute some under if and uh, add some elements node with append and prepend then run the program and try to understand compare your understanding with the output okay this is way you will learn otherwise you will you will not learn okay okay so once you understand that these methods so there are easy way to further uh, all other things okay i already added the display all nodes methods i don't need this okay then the another thing is that that the remove method okay remove means deleting okay remove if you want to remove a method remove a node then the question will be arise okay if there is only one node in the linked list the removing is easy right okay and then how about if the linked list is empty if the linked list is empty then you should so okay empty linked list there is nothing to remove but if is that linked list is not empty is not empty if not empty then it will say head equal to head dot next okay that means how do you remove and it, give me a uh, few more second today few more minutes today okay i want to finish this okay so
So if I have node one, I'm talking like like node one, node two, okay, node three, and node four. Okay, this is the link. This is the link. So this is where that link nodes are linked. Okay, elite or remove. We say remove or unlink. It is very simple. This one line. It removes the link from the from the list. Okay, head equal to head dot next. This is the only one line. Of course. Okay, but it will. You have to check if it is not empty. Okay, and if it is empty, then you cannot delete it. And then after that, it will return. It needs to return a node. It it must return a node. Okay, and it will not delete link. Then for now, if I say, uh, uh, there is some some users in the in the back. Let me go. What other methods? Okay, remove first. It is removing the first one. Okay, it is removing the first one. It is actually this method is removing the top top element. Okay, but there are course other other removing. So for instance, if you have this one a link list. This is the top one. N one is top one. N two is the second one, and N three is the third one. So if you want to delete a node, that means you can delete the top one, first node. That means initially it was head, but head will be this one dot next. This one will be head, right? And if you want to delete a node in the middle node, okay. But if you want to delete the middle node, that what do you want to do? You need to unlink this one and you need to unlink this one and you need to make a new link over here okay sorry so uh, instead of doing that i have code for okay removing okay then remove by id so that is so if you want to remove in the middle link then then this is a difficult one okay remove by id or same thing we have remove by name code and i can get this okay i can put this code if you want to delete some middle elements then you can e delete both ways since i have my data are both id and name right so i can delete both by id or by name so it has it is it can be deleted top on it, please review this code okay i'm giving this code to you give me a few more minutes extra please and the last one is that you know the search operation last one is the find operation find by id and find by name find by id if you want to search whether a node is existing in your code since uh, you know you will see some in some books or some course there are some course is find by data because since i have data in both id and name so i can search both way through id or through name okay so since i have my data both id and name so i can delete a node by id by id or by name similarly i can search uh, a node by id or by name but it is not easier way to delete a node by memory address okay okay so these are the thing actually for the test you need to know must know append and prepend method and remove method okay okay and 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 uh, search uh, uh, try also find method okay find so find method is easier so find method is easier is remove by data is a difficult task than removing the first one remove by node removing the first node is easy okay because you can uh, but removing the other nodes is difficult but in other books or in other context you may get a different type of codes okay there's some variation of codes that people implement link list in other ways okay but if you can follow my code or you can follow other codes from other book or other resources but whatever you follow no matter you need to do it exactly we know multiple ways 
Okay, whatever you write in your uh, exam, do not think that if you write some code randomly and you will get points. No, not that, not that. We know. Because we will see the sequence. How it works, okay? So my codes are already on my GitHub account. Okay? So please uh, get that from GitHub. And you know how to get the latest code from GitHub? Yeah, git pull origin master. Okay, if it does not work, then do git pull. Uh, what is that called? Origin master. Then uh, at the end you do uh, dash f. Dash f means force, right? Okay. So anybody have any questions so far? So this is the top thing. This is the most top thing, but this is the foundation for your upper level computer science courses. Data structure algorithm. So through link list, what we are doing, we are creating a data structure. Okay, a data structure, right? So that a data data will be stored in the memory, so that a data knows who is the next adjacent data, who is the adjacent data, right? So any other question? This is really uh, a tough thing. Okay, you need to do practice and you need to do some some what is that called programming and then some understanding and then some analysis okay and if you have any question okay uh, an announcement okay for the next week i am canceling my office hours in the evening if you need any office hour this, please email me if you need to see me then email me please okay otherwise i am canceling that my office hours for next week thank you so much